100 years ago, rugged and tough men and women carved out a life in the town in the wilderness in northeast Washington. And taming the Ponderay River, logging, mining, and working the quarries for the cement plant was a way of life for the people of Ione. But the lumber mill and cement plant are gone, and the mine closed last year, leaving hundreds without work. As KXLY Forest Tori Brunetti shows us, instead of collapsing, the town is forging ahead, celebrating its centennial year. If you walk down Main Street in Ione, you'll probably notice right off the bat the benches have a fresh coat of paint, and so do most of the businesses. But if you look a little deeper, you'll notice that the entire town has a renewed sense of hope as they look forward to the next 100 years. Ione people are kind of used to having it a bit rough, so they persevere through it. Once again, Ione is fighting to persevere. When the mine shut down, things slowed down a lot. When the mine closed last year, hundreds were out of work, many moved away, leaving Ione on the verge of economic ruin. Grant Christensen was laid off, but refused to leave. It's been a real struggle. Everyone here is stepping up to the challenge. They're going to survive by celebrating 100 years of survival. There was a young man that came up and mowed a huge field of grass. And I asked him why he did it, and he said, well, because everybody's doing something. I thought I should do my part. Everyone has a part. Jeannie Law is heading up the project. So they're tough. The people up here are tough. Lila Middleton painted the town's benches. We got them all done except for two. These high school seniors restored the town murals, and Grant is pitching in wherever he can. One banner at a time, several new coats of paint, and an outpouring of community spirit. This town will not mourn their losses, but celebrate how far they have come. Yeah, a lot of small towns have kind of folded up, but we don't want to see that happen here. So we know that there's so much beauty here and there's and the people here are so phenomenal. These flyers are posted all over town to let people know about Ione's centennial celebration. Tomorrow, starting at 11, there will be current townspeople, former townspeople, and hopefully future townspeople here to usher in the next 100 years. In Ione, Tori Brunetti, KXLY4, HD News.